Hello and welcome back to another episode of Izok Explains. I'm Tyler Bishop and today I'm going to show you how to do free keyword uh, analysis and get insights that can help you with SEO and a lot of other things you would typically get from uh, a keyword tool like SEMrush, Moz, um, any number of different keyword tools that are out there. Um, I'm going to show you how to get a lot of that data for free inside of uh, Google Search Console. So here we are inside of Google Search Console. If you're not familiar with it, it is one of the most important things to set up for your site because this is the objective information that Google is going to give you about searches uh, that visitors have in Google that result in clicks to your site or impressions in their search results. So um, if you haven't set it up before, uh, as soon as you come in, you'll be asked to add a property. There's multiple ways for you to do it. If you have Google Analytics set up, you can do it through that property. But the data is going to be the exact data from Google, so it is very objective. It's even better than your Google Analytics data. So when you get in, you're going to see something that looks like this. You can see I've got my blog that we beat up all the time here, Injury Health Blog. Uh, it's attached to my Google account. And when you come in, you'll probably start on an overview. But if you click over here on performance, you're going to get this information here. So it starts me off by default looking at the last three months of data. It shows me the total clicks. This means the total amount of people that clicked on a result that went to a page on my website. The total amount of impressions. So how many times did uh, a result show for someone searching for something um, that re was you know, my website? Um, average CTR, so how often were people actually clicking on my results versus everything else, and then the average position for all the pages. So I might rank 76 for something, and so the overall average of my pages, you can see it right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start to kind of compare some of this stuff and look at things objectively. So one of the things I might want to do is just figure out how are getting people getting to my website in general. So I might want to look at the last six months worth of data. And so I can look at this, and at first I can say, well, I'm not that interested in impressions. I just want to see the people that actually came. Uh, and so I'm going to actually take out CTR and impressions, but I'm going to leave position. And I can see here the actual queries from my site that are resulting in traffic. So I can see that the number one keyword, the number one thing that people are Googling to get to my site is rolled ankle pop. So my guess is that people are rolling their ankles and they're hearing a pop. And uh, I actually rank. Uh, around the fourth position for that on average. So over the last six months, I've averaged about position four there. Uh, why is Mutaflor banned in the U.S.? It's a, uh, it's a probiotic. Uh, I know that because I wrote that article. And uh, I actually rank uh, close to number one, between number one and number two. And it's tied with rolled ankle pop for the number one things that are sending traffic to my site. So I can kind of go down and I can actually see, you know, Mutaflor is, it's actually sending quite a bit of traffic to my site. But in case I didn't want to look at queries and I just want to see what, what pages are driving it. I can go here and I can actually see what specific pages. So even though the queries about ankle pops and Mutaflor, which is again a probiotic, uh, are driving a lot of traffic in terms of queries, you can actually see that this article about playing sports with a torn ACL is actually the one that's sending the most clicks to my site. And you can see on average it's not ranking as high, but it probably ranks for a lot more queries. But I might want to see how I'm doing, and this is one of the big things that a tool like SEMrush or uh, Moz might be able to do for you is show you how your keyword rankings are shifting over time. So a lot of times you're curious, I saw my organic traffic take a loss or it jumped way up. Where did that come from? So what you can do is click here and go to compare. And now I want to compare six months of the previous data. So filter of the last six months, compare last six months to previous period, and apply. So now I just, I'm going to highlight just clicks at first to make a point. So now I go down to queries and I can see that the last six months I got 74 clicks from my rolled ankle pop article and previously I was getting more traffic, same for a couple of these. So you can see here I've dropped in rankings here um, just a little bit. Uh, my guess for these, because look, less traffic, less clicks from the search engines. Um, I'm getting more though from a couple here. So you can see, do hydration tablets work? Uh, some of my other Mutaflor keywords. So you can see kind of the difference in terms of the last six months versus the current six months from exact queries. So I'm not just looking at keywords or data that a tool has pulled. This is Google telling me how many visitors it sent to my site for specific keywords. 
You can see how pages were affected by this as well. So you can see, even though those keywords were the ones most affected, once again, it was my torn ACL blog that's actually seen the biggest difference over the last few months. Now, I'm gonna sh I wanna point out something that I think a lot of people might miss, which is this thing about where do I rank in search results and why that may not be quite as important as you think it is sometimes. So you can see here for rolled ankle pop, um, I actually rank higher now. So on average, I rank in the fourth position, so position four here. But six months ago, I actually ranked lower than that. On average, result number six. But six months ago, I got more traffic than I do now. How do we marry those two things together? Well, we could look at impressions as well. And we can see that, well, a lot of that has to do with impressions. So the previous six months of impressions, there was fewer and now there's more and I rank higher, like what gives? It doesn't make any sense. I'm showing up more, I'm showing up higher and I'm getting less clicks. A lot of that has to do with search results in general. So if I click on rolled ankle pop now inside of Google, you can see here, the entire search box now is taking up by a rich snippet and then people also ask. So even though my article might rank and here you can see it in the results, there's all this competing material above me now that's, that may grab the searcher's uh, engagement or attention before they have a chance to get to my result. And so the changing of SERPs has a lot to do with this. And so that's why it's really important to look at this data objectively and say, just because a keyword dropped in rankings doesn't necessarily mean you've lost traffic. And just because you've lost traffic doesn't necessarily mean you've dropped in rankings. But understanding how searchers are getting to your site is really important. So being able to go to these pages and see how these things are shifting over time is probably important for you to understand about your site. And this is data that you used to have to spend monthly revenue to get and to understand through expensive SEO tools, and now the best data that you can get straight from Google is available inside of Search Console. You can do this looking at six months. You know, you can pull data all the way back in many cases to 2017, 2016. Um, so there's quite a bit you can get here. If you're not in Search Console, uh, I don't have time to go through all the other things you should probably be looking at in here, but hopefully this has helped you take a deeper dive into your own keyword data. Uh, for free using Google Search Console. So thank you very much for joining me. I'm Tyler Bishop, and this has been another episode of Ezoic Explains.